welcome so in this video i'm going to be teaching you how you can create this adidas logo animation in 3d we'll be using a png image of the logo and this will be a very good example of how you can create beautiful animations using images so let's get started the first step is to create a new composition set the duration to three seconds then import the adidas png logo create a solid background with the white color next Add the Adidas PNG to the composition layers and place it above the solid layer. We will create a mask for each character in the logo. So duplicate the Adidas PNG layer by pressing Command D and hit Enter key with the duplicate layer selected to rename the layer. The other logo layer will be our backup. Rename it to A and then select the rectangle shape to create a mask for A. Duplicate A, delete the previous mask, rename it to D and create a mask for D with the rectangle shape too. Duplicate D. Delete the previous mask. Rename it to I and create a mask for I with the rectangle shape too. Duplicate I. Delete the previous mask. Rename it to D and create a mask for D with the rectangle shape too. Duplicate D. Delete the previous mask. Rename it to A and create a mask for A with the rectangle shape too. Duplicate A. Delete the previous mask, rename it to S and create a mask for S with the rectangle shape too. Next, we will do the same thing for the bars. You can turn off or delete the logo backup layer and we can see that we have each of the characters on their own layers. Next, we are going to animate the characters ADI from the left of the screen and into the screen. We are also going to animate the characters DAS from the right of the screen and into the screen. So select ADI layers, drag them off the screen, holding the shift to maintain the same line and press the P button to reveal the position transform. Turn on the keyframe option, move the playhead on the composition timeline to 30 seconds and drag the selected layers back to their initial position. Make sure you are holding the shift key to keep them on the same line. Next, select the remaining characters DAS and drag them to the right while holding the shift key. Move the playhead on the timeline back to the beginning and then press P to reveal the position keyframe control and activate it. Move the playhead to 30 seconds again and drag the selected layers back to the original position while holding shift. Now, if you play it from the beginning, you'll get this nice animation, but let's make it even nicer by adding easing. Select all the keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard to add easy ease. Then click on the graph editor, select all the keyframes and drag the right handle towards the middle. This will make the animation speed up quickly and slow down in the end. But we don't want all the elements to enter at the same time. So we will adjust their position on the composition timeline accordingly. Arranging the keyframes in the arrow shape will ensure the outer layers are the last to complete their animation, which is what we want. Next, we will animate the three bars. Set the playhead to around 30 seconds, select all the bars and press S to reveal the scale transform control. Click on the keyframe knob to activate it. Creating our final position, move the playhead back to 21 seconds and set the scale value to 0. This will make the scale up animation for the bars. Next, we will add easy easing by selecting all the keyframes for the bars and pressing F9 on the keyboard. Then we will open the graph editor, select all the keyframe knobs on the right and drag their handle towards the middle. Next, we will add motion blur to all the layers to make the animation look even better. So select all the layers and turn on motion blur option by clicking the motion blur icon. Next, we don't want the three bars to scale up at the same time, so we'll add a delay by shifting the second and third bar to the right. We will add the 3D effect by selecting all the layers, then activating the 3D option, and then creating a null object and set the null object as parent for all the layers. This will enable us to control all the layers with null object acting as the control knob. Next, make the null object a 3D layer too. Then move the playhead to the end of the animation with the null object selected and press P to reveal the position transform. Click on view layout option and select two views. Then set the 3D view for the one on the left to top view. This will enable us to view the positions of the layer from the top in 3D. Next, with the playhead at the end of the animation, which should be around 45 seconds, 
activate the position keyframe of the null object then move the play here to the beginning of the animation set the z position to minus 2000 select both keyframes and turn on easy easing with f9 then select all the keyframes for the bars and move them towards the end with the first keyframe of the first bar around 30 seconds and that brings us to the end of this tutorial let me know if you have any questions and see you in the next Thank <laughs> you.